guys, it's Fanny and welcome back to another Mukbang Food Vlog. Today we're in San Diego and we're going to be eating at the Japanese restaurant called Tajima. They specialize in ramen and Japanese food. But before you guys continue watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications because you know, that'll really, really help me out. Then let's go! This is their menu right here, and they also have a menu actually outside. It's a little bit easier to see, so we're gonna go on this one here. And they have an assortment of different ramens. I'm gonna be getting the Tajima ramen, along with the Carnitas ramen, that's a really interesting, and the vegan ramen. That's gonna have um, some eggplant on top, so I'm really excited for that. And then they also have different rice bowls and sushi. I'm gonna be getting Crunchy Dragon. That sounds really good, and Rainbow Roll. I always get Rainbow Roll everywhere I go. And these are their appetizers right here. I'm gonna be getting gyoza, but they have a assortment of other different appetizers like takoyaki, karage. This is the first bowl of ramen, and this one is the Tajima ramen. It's like their standard ramen, and there's a nice thick piece of chassis on top. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love their egg. There's a bok choy. There's some garlic flakes and let's do a little noodle pull uh, wonderful so this one is the carnitas ramen it looks so good i love how bright red it is uh there's some carnitas on top and i love how they also have a lime there's an egg and oh this is onion there's radish like this is literally a uh, mexican cuisine inside a ramen i am so excited to try this we're in the city of san diego guys so like mexican food here is like really bomb this is a very interesting fusion for sure. Next one here is like completely opposite of the Carnitas one. This is a very healthy. This is their vegan ramen. So there's bok choy, there's cherry tomatoes, there's uh, some corn, there's spinach, and there's eggplant on top. It looks really healthy and just uh, so amazing. I actually get vegan ramen days where I don't want to consume meat and vegan ramen is pretty good so I'm excited to try this. Sushis have arrived. Let's start over here. We have a gyoza. This is pork gyoza and there's some sauce to dip it in. Then we have a mercury roll. This is a baked roll and it looks absolutely delicious. This is the rainbow roll so there's a assortment of uh, different fish, salmon, albacore, tuna, shrimp. And then this is the crunchy dragon roll. There's a uh, shrimp tempura in here and a bunch of crunchies and avocado. I want to try is this is their just regular signature ramen this is the tajima ramen right here so there's noodles i love the noodles it's like nice and thick and there's also a thick piece of pork belly right here looks so good it's wow it's like actually really thick there's also a boiled egg and some bok choy i'm actually gonna tie my hair up today because <laughs> i'm feeling a bit sweaty and i want the hair just getting in the way. Broth is nice and creamy. Mm. I really love the texture of the noodles. Their noodles are really good. Mm. Okay, let's try this pork belly. It is super thick and juicy. Mmm. This pork belly is braised to perfection. It is super soft. So flavorful too. Mm. <laughs> really delicious. I really love this broth. It's simple, clean, creamy, not overly salty. <laughs> Let's get a bok choy. <laughs> this is the carnitas ramen. And oh my goodness, it looks absolutely amazing. There's a bunch of onions in here. I love how it's like bright red. <laughs> 
There's a lot of carnitas, there's radish, there's egg, and there's a lime. We're actually gonna squeeze the lime on here. Oh, this is gonna be so good. They should also come out with like a beer or ramen. I'm sure that would taste amazing. Mm. Oh, this definitely has a spice to it. It is pretty spicy. Let's try some of the carnitas now. Mm. Wow. Carnitas are super soft, super flavorful. They know how to cook their pork here. That pork belly was really good, and the carnitas in this ramen is also really good. <laughs> I'm gonna try the broth individually. <sighs> it's creamy and spicy. And I really taste like the chunks of like the onions in there. It's really good. Mm -hmm. If you guys like spicy ramen, this is definitely for you. You know, like guys like Mexican food, this is definitely for you. Literally tastes like someone just uh, had a ramen, right? And just dumped a bunch of uh, carnita taco in here. And then you just get this amazing fusion. I also love the hints of cilantro. It's really good. And today we are all drinking some coke guys <laughs> in here there is a nicely boiled egg the yolk is still nice and gooey it looks amazing and it's just been like simmering in this spicy carnitas broth this is gonna taste magnificent mm. Mm. that egg is like slightly sweet Oh, that's really good. Super soft. It just kind of disintegrates in your mouth. Like, cook the egg perfectly. Eggs are always a, a hit and miss when you go to ramen places because sometimes they overcook the egg and sometimes they undercook it. This is cooked very nicely. Mm. Next ramen up is the vegan ramen. <laughs> And there's eggplants on top. I actually want to try a piece of the eggplant first. I really love eggplant, guys. Uh, it's just so good. Mmm. Nice and soft, and there's a subtle sweetness to the eggplant. Eggplant is a great substitution for meat, by the way. So this is definitely a very clean ramen. But even though it's vegan, it manages to uh, have like the creaminess in the broth. Again, the noodle texture is amazing. Cherry tomatoes add a really nice uh, like tart to the broth and gives it a nice uh, flavor complexity. Next thing up are the gyozas, and these are just uh, pan fried dumplings. Just gonna dip it into the dipping sauce. <laughs> I don't know what's 
tell you, bro. Like, mm. <laughs> your father <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? Yeah, like... So this one is uh the mercury roll. And it is a deep fried roll. There's imitation crab in here, avocado, cucumber topped with eel sauce, spicy mayo, masago, and green onion. <laughs> But what's scary? What was scary is they did their taxes themselves this year. Oh, like you guys it's it nice up. and crunchy. <laughs> you definitely taste the spicy mayo. I like the touch of the green onions. Yeah, but what? Oh, right. <laughs> no, it's not the program's fault. <laughs> the flavoring of this actually reminds me of a. When you get like baked mussels at sushi restaurants, I feel like they use the same ingredients. The next roll we have is the rainbow roll. I always get rainbow roll everywhere I go just because um, I really love it. I love how there's an assortment of different fish. So we have salmon, we have albacore, we have shrimp, and we have tuna. So I'm going to get the piece with the salmon because salmon is my favorite. Let's dip it in the soy sauce. Uh, how does your walk is there? Uh, are you guys ever looking at a house? A house? A house! <laughs> so, you can own your, so you can own your own property. <laughs> okay. Let's try a piece with a shrimp on it. I also like to add some wasabi in my soy sauce, which I forgot to do, so I'm going to do it right now. Now we're going to go for the tuna one. I love how simple this roll is. Alright, so this one here... There's a lot of crunchies on there, and there's also shrimp tempura. I love shrimp tempura, and there's avocado. I don't think this one even needs soy sauce, though, because there's so much sauce on here. So, let's take a bite. Oh, there's um, gobo carrot in here, too. It's like a crunchy, slightly sweet carrot. It's pretty good. How's everything tasting, guys? Everything good? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. Final bite. Hey guys, that is it for today's mukbang food vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this ramen and sushi mukbang. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Again, I'm at the restaurant called Tajima. They're located in San Diego. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave the information down below in my description box. Uh, check them out, they're awesome. I grew up in San Diego, and I've been eating at Tajima for a while now, so it's really awesome to film here and uh, show you guys what San Diego has to offer. My absolute favorite today was definitely the Tajima ramen. The broth is really good. It's nice and creamy. I also think that they cook their eggs perfectly and the pork belly it was super soft and braised. So I highly recommend this dish. I also I was really surprised by the carnitas dish. If you like spicy ramen and you just kind of want a twist of some Mexican flavors, I would definitely recommend this. And my favorite sushi today would uh, definitely be the rainbow roll. I'm a very basic sushi girl. Overall, everything was really amazing and Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Until next time, see you guys. Bye.